Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today's Tuesday. And if you're working at one of the thousands of hybrid companies surveyed across America, the majority of you are required to be in the office today. You can see right there, Tuesday, 72%. But apparently your bosses wanted you there yesterday. Wall Street Journal uh, laying it all out with a quote. They say some employees think Monday should be a gentle start to the week and a movement for bare minimum Mondays has taken hold on social media. But bosses are making a push to get workers into the office on Mondays as a way to kickstart the work week and boost productivity. Somebody who needs to boost his productivity is not Jimmy Fela. He hosts Fox Across America on Fox News Radio, and Fox Nation he joins us right now. Yes. Jimmy, uh, you know, it got started with COVID. Yep. And it's hard to get them back. Yeah, well, that's what we've learned here. This shows you how just, just how much the pandemic broke society mm -hmm. and that people got used to not working, not commuting, and not wearing pants, okay? <laughs> that's another aspect of this whole thing that no one factors into their analysis. Right. There's a lot of people in boxer shorts and sport coats sitting in Zoom meetings, okay, on Mondays. Now, I always get booked on Mondays because Fox doesn't want me drinking too much on Sundays. <laughs> but if we were going to talk about this practically, okay, right. you should be there on Monday because it's the first inning of the game. Right. You don't want to show up in the second or the third inning. Then you're not a worker. You're a Dodgers fan. Like, I think you need to be there to right. actually build momentum. Because at the beginning of the week, the boss wants to say, OK, team. Yeah. This week, we're going to do A, B, C, and D. Let's go get them. No, so true. But you look at the numbers, what, 20-some percent are in the office. So it's kind of like, OK, team, let's go get them. Can you hear me on Zoom? <laughs> no, it's true. And it does speak, though, to just how understaffed companies are, yeah. that employees feel confident saying this. We're like, yeah, we want you to come in on Mondays. Nah. <laughs> like, I, I can't imagine I didn't come from that era where I would ever say that. Let's, like, let's see what happens. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, who knew that mothers of billionaires had a lot of pull? Because the mother of Elon Musk, May Musk, had this tweet, and it said, regarding, remember they were going to have a cage yep. fight between uh, Musk and Zuckerberg? Actually, I canceled the fight. Elon's mother said, I haven't told them yet, but I will continue to say the fight is canceled just in case. <laughs> you know, everybody was a Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Pumped up for this. Yeah, because they were talking about doing a cage match between yeah. two billionaires. Who wouldn't watch that? I, well, everyone would watch it, but I want to issue a word of caution as a sports fan. This would be a terrible fight. Like, I want the mom right. to cancel it because the truth is it's a nerd fight. Okay, these guys are marquee attractions <laughs> because they're nerds. One guy works on rockets. The other guy invented Facebook. Right. They're, this is not like Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran. Okay, this is a nerd fight. A lot of flailing, a lot of emotion, a lot of crying. And I know Dana White said, oh, it'll be the biggest fight in the world. Oh, wait, you mean to tell me a fight promoter hyped the event? Right. Like, everybody reacted to that as if it was meaningful. But the truth is, I want this fight to be canceled. I don't want to watch this. Well, you know what? And so did you, you're yeah. just like his mother. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> his mother uh, has suggested a verbal fight only, three questions each. Uh, the funniest answer is win. <laughs> and who agrees on that? But uh, who's going to decide who had the funniest answer? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, it's, a, it's always a sliding scale. But I think what we're learning here, though, the fact that Zuckerberg wants to fight Elon, mm -hmm. we now know and have proof that robots are attacking humans, okay? Because Zuckerberg is a robot. And everybody tells me, no, no, bro, he did jujitsu. He's a billionaire. When he did jujitsu and won that fight, right. that guy ain't fighting back. It's like when you go to one of those luxury hunting clubs where there's so many deer in the woods, you can't not shoot a deer. Right. Some of the deer shoot themselves because they're Mets fans, <laughs> okay? I'm not buying any of this pedigree. I think it's a garbage fight. I'm glad it does. I hope it doesn't happen. Well, Elon Musk says he's in. He wouldn't be good. <laughs> Musk is going to, well, this is the thing. Okay, he's an adventurous guy. I don't doubt he wants to do it. Plus, he knows he can just unplug Zuckerberg at any point, and he wins. It would be Musk CTV. <laughs> good for you. The big question, well, how many people would watch if it were on a Monday? Oh, they'd be, well, no one would show up in person. Right? Full it'd be, circle. It'd be over Zoom. All right. Uh, check out Jimmy on the radio and elsewhere. Fox Nation. Great Jimmy, stuff. thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.